This is EDUC 4703U, Teaching and Learning, Problem-Based Learning, Session 2, Video Clip 4. The title of this video clip is PBL Introduction Part 2. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number 1. What are the suggested processes which should be used when learning with PBL? Number 2. What roles do the analysis and synthesis questions posed in each video clip play? Why are they included? Number three, what variables are included in the presented problem definition? What is the nature of the relationship of the problem plus resources variables to the differential between the desired and the current situation? If k plus r is large, how large relatively is the problem as defined by uh, the desired situation minus the current situation. Or, if k plus r is small, how large relatively is the problem as defined by the differential between the desired situation and the current situation? Number four, how might you structure your group for working while addressing PBL cases? PBL processes. These are suggested processes that you might explore if you were going to be using PBL as a learning process for yourself. So this is placing yourself in the learning context. You are a student. You are a learner. Number one, explore the context by fully understanding the situation. Number two, develop and write out a problem or problems uh, if there are multiple problem statements in your own words. Your group may want to work out on several problems, not just one, that present themselves in the situation. Identify what the problem is or are, if there are multiples. Determine the knowledge and resources that your group has on hand and which roles and or perspectives you'll be taking on. Number three, list possible solutions. Each problem may have several solutions. List all for all problems that will be tackled. Number four, List actions to be taken with a timeline. Be aware that your group carries out that as your group carries out the listed actions, you may need to go back a step or two to or even to the context itself and refine your work. This may require substantial modification. Number five, prepare to present your solution with supporting documentation. At every step, you should be prepared to give the reasons or the rationale for your decisions. Base these reasons on the literature you are accessing as part of the resource collection you'll be amassing. Use APA version 6 to cite the literature. Assess your performance. Since PBL assumes that the primary responsibility for learning resides with the learner, your group will re be responsible for assessing the quality of your work. Determine what are the characteristics of good work and then rate your work against those characteristics. The rubric provided in the course outline can be used as a starting point. While exploring the context, making, make note of the information that is contained within the context. This information may be vital in not only understanding the context and the embedded problem or problems, but it may also hold clues to be used when proposing solutions. Since the context is taken from real life, it is likely that it is that a lot of the information is either neutral or could distract you from the problem. This information will be, need to be filtered out. In addition, uh, in the context of this course, take a look at the analysis questions that are provided as these are intended to help you uh, to immerse yourself in the situation. Form a small group of four or five individuals to talk about the situation and solicit their perspectives. These may be different than yours and could add to a richer understanding of the context or could lead to defining problems that would not have occurred if every individual was merely working on their own. In terms of, in an attempt to operationalize a definition of the concept of problem, uh, see the, the formula that's given on the slide in front of you, the problem P is first characterized as the difference between the desired situation S sub D and the current sub situation S sub C. Then the level of difficulty that can be expected to resolve the differential between the desired and the current situations can be determined in an inverse relationship with the amounts of relevant knowledge K 
and resources that are accessible are uh, by the learner or the problem solver. Thus, if the learner has a great deal of knowledge and or resources and knows how to apply these to the differential, the problem should be rather simple to solve. Finally, the role refers to the situatedness or contextual factors related to the potential problem solver since the role determines the background and type of perspective brought to bear on the problem. I'll give you several scenarios which hopefully will um, serve to um, further describe the, the, how this, um, this equation actually works in reality. So here's the first scenario. You're a traveler from abroad traveling from Pearson International Airport to a specific location in downtown Toronto. You are provided with the money required to actually uh, pay for the trip. You may use the limousines that are available at the airport. You have a GPS and you know how to use it. You are provided with a specific address of the location you want to get to in downtown Toronto. Identify the variables in the formula and what is the relative size of the problem. Second scenario, similar to the first, but with some very important uh, modifications or differences. So in the second scenario, you are a traveler from abroad, traveling from Pearson International Airport to a location in downtown Toronto. You have no money, you do not speak English, you do not have a GPS, nor do you have a specific address of the location you want to get to. Again, identify the variables in the formula. How large is the problem compared to the initial um, time that we looked at the similar scenario. A third variation on the scenario. You are now a Canadian limousine driver who is stationed at the airport. You have your car with you. It uh, has gas in it, etc. Anyways, you are hired by a traveler from abroad who is traveling from Pearson to a specific location that is known by the traveler. You know how to navigate to the location as you recognize the address. The traveler has money and speaks English. I, again, identify the variables in the formula. How is the nature of the problem changed as a result of the role change, being the uh, limousine driver as compared to being the traveler? Determining what resources and knowledge you have and what you don't. Using the above formula on the previous page, your group should be able to identify the resources and knowledge that is already available as well as that which you will need to obtain or create in order to solve the problem or problems. Keep track of these in a list. Creative thinking. Part of the process should place an emphasis on creativity and building the solutions, not for looking what has been done before in similar circumstances. De Bono's hat systems may be of some value while trying to work creative, creatively. Uh, a link to uh, six thinking hats uh, by De Bono uh, is given for wikipedia.org. Some of the principles that arise from the green creativity hat within this scheme are as follows. Be positive. While brainstorming, accept, accept all ideas initially. When all possibilities have been suggested, then go about discussing each of them and filtering. So the idea here would be not to, um, right off the bat, to dismiss ideas that don't seem to conform to um, a potential solution. So accept all the ideas initially, and once you've exhausted all the possibilities, then go about discussing each and filtering. And the idea here is that even ideas that seem to be way out there, they may stimulate ideas that are fe feasible. The second principle, be prolific. Don't be satisfied with only the first ideas that come to you and your other group members. Generate as many ideas as you can and stimulate each other, challenge each other to come up with new ideas. Thirdly, be playful. Challenge yourself and your group members to think as laterally as possible, creating as many seemingly weird ideas that may lead to solutions. The corollary to this would be to avoid placing your thinking in a box. You may want to employ creativity tools such as those listed on the creative, create, Creating Minds site, that is creatingminds.org. Alternatively, you may want to work collaboratively. Through various stages of this process, your group will be expected to come to a consensus on how to proceed. While each member is expected to argue his or her own 
viewpoint, the focus should be on the issues and reasons, not personalities and emotions. If your per group has difficulty and you've exhausted all of your group, your own group resources, refer to your TA for assistance as a mediator. For more assistance with collaborative group work, see study guides and strategies at studygs.net. Finally, try out a case-based PBL. Form a group of four or five members using Twitter, including hashtag EDUC4703 or chat within WebCT. Work through the hot-headed moles in Antarctica, and that is udel.edu slash pbl slash hotheads.html as an example of how PBL can be used for learning. Your work should be posted in the discussion tool of WebCT. Re remember to reflect on the experiences as you work through the case. Your insights into your experiences will be valuable as you progress through this course. In terms of the theoretical perspective, while the information posted below is not technically theoretical in nature, it does provide a th framework that can be used to address PBL. Again, see study guides and strategies, that is studygs.net, and follow the links about problem solving, finding creative solutions, adaptive decision making, management by exception, managing stress, and motivating yourself. And finally, the synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. While the processes to be used for PBL are presented as a hierarchical algorithm or formula, why might following this strategy rigorously be detrimental? Question number two, pose other possible scenarios to apply to the formula definition that's given, the P equals SD minus SC over K plus R, all within the constraints of the role or the perspective that you're applying. Identify all variables in these scenarios. And number three, why are suggestions for working creatively and collaboratively included in this video clip? Of what import, importance could the, would the development of these skills be for PBL work? And number four, what insights did you glean from your work and the way your group worked while addressing the hot-headed moles in Antarctica case study. Mm -hmm.